So it's on. I'll turn my space heater off. You hear that silence? So there's the fan covering the motherboard and the MOSFET. Then the power supply. Get that friggin' tornado out of there. This thing puts out probably three times as much airflow. Puts out some pretty blue lights that matches my others. Although it is definitely brighter than that one. Oh yeah, you can feel the airflow out of there. But anyway. That's the bottom of my anti-cubic chair on. Now I gotta flip it over and turn the other fans on and now I have replaced them but now that this thing is quiet curious what that sounds like interesting okay just replaced the tornado fan and the power supply back there you all know the one I'm talking about this thing Works great. Friggin' loud as hell. I think that is the loudest fan I have ever heard. It's on. So, you've already seen most of my other mods. Of course, I got the front, both sides, rear bracing, brackets. Of course, I have the demon skulls up there. The other thing, I have my little bed leveler sensor mounted up there. I know a lot of people mount it down here. Yeah, I didn't need it down there. Besides, I got my Bantam out down there. My fangs, my cooling fans. I got the XY, sorry, X tensioner. Do not have the Y tensioner. It's pretty easy to adjust as is. And I really don't need to mess with it much. This one, I had to mess with it a few times. Of course, I got the spool hold for roller thing with the bearings in it. See how you can see the bearings. Filament sensor bracket. X carriage support. Actually it's more for protection now. Cable bracket. Uh, oh, I have the one for the Y motor back there so it doesn't come loose. Uh, the yellow fill-ins. Decoration. But now, let's check those fans. Now I've already switched these over to 24 volt dual dual bearings. 24 volt dual ball bearing fan. The stepper drivers, I've already replaced the X and Y with TMC T28's UARTs. The Z's and the extruder I did not. Didn't have any need to. Why do it? I bought a set of five. I have three spares if I need them. Now let's see how these fans sound. I don't hear nothing. Let's look to make sure they're on. Okay. Blue lights are on underneath. The fan is actually the one I'm pointing at now. I don't hear squat. Let's uh, heat up the well, I guess the bed doesn't make any difference. We don't need to heat that up. Let's heat the hot end up. Go to 202. It's just where I happen to go. I think it usually kicks on at like 65. We're all the way up to... All the way up to... Can this camera focus on this? I know my other camera doesn't. I don't think this one is either. Anyway, it's at 66. Oh, just kicked on. Get you up nice and close. Can you hear it? Let's turn the parts cooling fans on. Just run them up to 100%.
Oh, I can hear those. I don't know if you can hear them. There's these top two fans running. So those three fans are the only noise I hear now. And that's just because it's dead silent in here. So we have the power supply fan under there. We have the motherboard fan over here. Those other LEDs that you see over there are just blue LED strip. Those are the only things making noise now. Now that said, I do have... That is not it. Um, they might be up here. Oh, they are. I do have another set that I just ordered. Just so I had backups if I needed them. And these are from the big tree ones. 24 volt. And they're supposed to be completely silent. Apparently I'm losing. <laughs> I saw a white string down there flapping around in the breeze. So we'll try it. I mean right now these sound loud. It's because there is no other sound going on. back off turn the parts cooling fan off so now people stop yelling what in my videos I know that power supply one was just hugely loud now the fan that's on there puts out um, what was it 7500 square feet of air per minute the one that was on there not even sure what size that is what is that a 60 50 or 6 might even be a 40 yeah but I put a 120 in its place and it's got the whole bottom <laughs> I mean it covers that. You saw my previous or the first part of this where I showed you the bottom of the printer. It's huge compared to this thing. So I don't think cooling is going to be an issue. Now I'll do is a couple of prints. See how the parts cooling fans on top and the hot end cooler do. If I find them to be louder than I want. I can always replace some of these that I got from Big Tree. I haven't even tested these. Eh, I don't want to take it all apart. I changed my ends on there to JST connectors. These little tiny plugs are a pain in the ass. And at the time I was changing parts so often that it was just easier to change the ends than it was to change the fan. And that's when I had that thermistor uh, short I had four shorts in the main cable and that's in my other video there that you can look back at I thought it was the connector the board the thermistor yeah I had four shorts inside there I replaced all the wires um, that main wiring harness is I just completely replaced the whole thing it was easier and I think that's going to do it. We'll see how these sound for a while and we might be done. That's a crock. We all know it. There's always going to be something else I'm going to mod. I'm going to paint these these bars black. The nuts, yeah, I don't know. I might paint them yellow. Probably black. I'll probably paint all the metal black here. That one's a little loose. Hmm. Now that fan shut off. It's quiet again. <laughs> we'll go ahead and turn him off. I usually use the switch, which I thought the heater was in, so I didn't. But I don't have the heater plugged in, so you can hear the fans. 
Ah, oh, that poor bed. Jeez. Now I know a lot of people don't like that bed leveler. To each their own. Whatever works for them. It happens to work for me. This is what happened when I was doing just the, the manual bed leveling. Not doing that anymore. And yes, that other video that has the TO sensor bed leveling um, linear, bilinear setting up and your uh, adjustment for your feed rate has all that in it. If you want to go back and look at it, I think we're done. Till the next print.